in the name of Allah. Question 12. What is the practical meaning of the phase angle phi? Does it differ in a 50 Hz system compared to a 60 Hz system? I mentioned earlier that to achieve a frequency of either 50 Hz or 60 Hz, the synchronous generator must rotate at a constant synchronous speed. This means that the rotation of the rotor within the synchronous generator along with its proximity to or distance from the three phase poles A, B and C produces an alternating current in the form of a sinusoidal wave. Consequently, one full rotation of the rotor represents a complete cycle consisting of a positive half cycle and a negative half cycle. As we know, a complete cycle corresponds to 360 degrees. Since a complete rotation of the rotor corresponds to 360 degrees, this results in a phase rotation among the three phases, A, B and C, with a 120 degree angle between each pair of phases. Thus, the rotation of the rotor through a complete cycle within the synchronous generator between the poles of each phase consists of a positive half cycle and a negative half cycle. As mentioned earlier, one complete cycle corresponds to 360 degrees. If the frequency is, for example, 50 Hz, this means there are 50 cycles per second. Therefore, to achieve a frequency of 50 Hz, the rotor inside the synchronous generator must complete 50 cycles in one second. In other words, 50 Hz indicates 50 cycles per second. Since one cycle equals 360 degrees, and there are 50 cycles in one second, the duration of a single cycle is equal to 1 divided by 50 seconds, that is 0 0.02 seconds. Thus, we find that one cycle, which equals 360 degrees, corresponds to 0 0.02 seconds. In practice, the phase angle phi represents a period of time. Therefore, when we refer to the phase angle between voltage and current in degrees, it actually indicates a time difference between them. In a system with a frequency of 50 Hz, it is important to understand that 360 degrees corresponds to 0 0.02 seconds in real terms. Similarly, in a 60 Hz system, the rotor inside the synchronous generator must complete 60 cycles in one second to achieve that frequency. Therefore, 60 Hz means 60 cycles per second. Since one cycle equals 360 degrees and there are 60 cycles in one second, the duration of one cycle is equal to 1 divided by 60 seconds, which is approximately 0 0.01667 seconds. So, one cycle equals 360 degrees, which corresponds to approximately 0 0.01667 seconds. Therefore, in a 60 Hz system, it is important to understand that 360 degrees represents a duration of 0 0.01667 1667 seconds in practice. So the phase angle phi represents a period of time in practice. This phase angle, or time duration, has different values in 50 Hz and 60 Hz systems. In general, for a 50 Hz system, 360 degrees corresponds to 0 0.02 seconds, meaning that 120 degrees is approximately 6.667 milliseconds. However, in a 60 Hz system, 360 degrees corresponds to approximately 0 0.01667 seconds. Thank you for your attention. See you in the first question.